Hi Virgo, welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is another Virgo channel and this is another Virgo reading. Let's get started with a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Thank you so much. All right, quick little disclaimer. I will not ever reach out to you to ask you for a reading or to ask you for money. I do not offer any services. I don't have a WhatsApp and I will not ever reach out to you. Okay, so if anyone is doing that, they are impersonating me, trying to scam you out of money. Please report and block them or simply ignore also, another quick disclaimer, trigger warning, there may be some discussion surrounding death, sexual assault, and money today as well. Um, I just want to put that out there so you know going into this reading. Also, this reading will not resonate for everyone who decides to click on it. Please only take the parts that fit into your story and leave the rest for somebody else. I'm just going to talk for a little bit and I will pull cards later, so if you'd like to skip through to the cards, I will put a timestamp in the pinned comment as well as in the description box down below. First thing I need to share with you, Virgo, is that I had an encounter with the Pleiadians a couple days ago, and some of you may not believe in the Pleiadians, the Lyrans, the Syrians, and you may not believe in a lot of things I'm talking about because there may not be any scientific proof to back it up. That's okay. These are just things that I believe in and things that have personally come to me. I didn't go out seeking them. So uh, the other day, the Pleiadians came to me and told me I needed to share this message with you, Virgo, so you may come from the same star as the Pleiadians, the Lyrans, and the Syrians. Okay, they told me to tell you to look at how far you've come because some of you are in a completely different timeline than you were last year, than you were three years ago. And I know how Virgo gets. I know how Virgo can want to keep pushing and striving and achieving, but Spirit's asking you to look at how far you've come today versus a year ago, versus three years ago. And they said that we are so proud of you. This is how the message came through. They said, we are so proud of you proud of me, but proud of you, Virgo, as well. And they want you to know that they are so proud of you, that you are doing the best that you can. The Pleiadians, Lyran, Syrians are all very similar, and they're here to help us protect the Earth. They care a lot about the Earth. And Virgo is an Earth sign, so some of you may channel the Pleiadians, or you may come from the same star. If that's not you, feel free to leave it, but Spirit just wants you to know that they are proud of you, and they want you to recognize how far you have come. I also wrote down that some of you are indigo children, and I wrote down that an indigo child is someone who is believed to possess special, unusual, and sometimes supernatural traits or abilities. Some are expected to lead new religious movements. And then I also wrote down that indigo children are sensitive, psychic, and strong-willed. I do recommend that if you feel called to what I'm talking about, that you do research for yourself. I just took the information that I already knew, wrote it down, and I'm sharing it with you, but please do more research for yourself if you feel called to it on Pleiadians, Lyrans, Syrians, Indigo Children, if that's something that you feel called to. I also was picking up the number 1010, so that could be a number you're seeing, or there could be significance around October 10th, 999, 222, and 111. So those are all numbers that you could be seeing that are going to connect you with this reading here today, or you'll see them during the reading or after the reading. I also wrote down that someone with an October birthday is not coming back into your life, Virgo. It's time to stop giving them your energy with your thoughts. It's time to stop thinking of them. It's time to stop worrying about them. Stop pulling cards for them. Stop watching readings for them. Someone with an October birthday is not coming back into your life, okay? Could be a Libra or a Scorpio, but that person is not coming back into your life. You have grown past that. You have ascended beyond that where you're being guided to, all right? And then I need to tell you about this dream that I had the other day, and we're going to talk about this channel message that I got from the dream, and the channel message is stop suffering at the expense of everyone else. And I'm actually going to film a TikTok live later today, so if you guys are following me on TikTok, I'll be live on TikTok later today if you want to come hang out. If you want to find my TikTok, it'll be in the description box down below. But I wanted to kind of practice what I'm going to be talking about with you guys, if you don't mind. I'm sure you don't, but... I was channeling stop suffering at the expense of everyone else. And I'm going to start by telling you this dream and then we'll we'll dive into the channel message. So a couple days ago, I want to say February 8th. Today is February 10th when I'm filming this, by the way. I want to say February 8th. I had this dream and I remember parts of it. And there's parts of the dream that like don't make sense and I'm jumping from like one place to another place to another place, but it's okay because it's a dream, right? We're astral traveling, so there is no like need to try to figure out how all the pieces fit together. But the dream starts with me in Subway, and I was in Subway with my dad, or we were like ordering Subway, but I remember just Subway was a big part of the beginning of the dream, and I don't know why. <laughs> I don't have any connection to Subway. I haven't eaten Subway in a while. I don't know. But 
we were ordering food for my whole family and now there's six of us in my immediate family I, my mom my dad i'm the oldest and then i have a brother and two sisters and growing up we struggled um financially and my mom did the best that she could but there were some times where we had to rob peter to pay paul you know that saying if you don't know basically what that means is that you'd have to like forego a bill so that you could pay a different bill we would have times where we wouldn't have water we would have times where we wouldn't have heat we would have times where we wouldn't have a lot of food we'd have to kind of just make it by and i learned that at a young age so that really took a toll on me at a young age and i remember like having to grow up very early especially being the oldest child and we're getting in the back to the dream my dad and i are ordering subway and my dad's like get whatever you want but we had already ordered for everybody else and for some reason the total was like 43 something and i don't know why that's significant but i remember the total being like 43 something and it's expensive to eat out when you have six people in your family and i was always one of those people when we would order food or when my parents would say you can get something that i would just be like no it's okay i'm not hungry no it's okay i won't get anything because i didn't want to add more to the total i was like it's already we're already spending so much money we need to cut back we need to be more financially stable as a 12 year old but this is like playing out in my dream too and so i remember during the dream i was just kind of like no it's okay we don't, i don't need anything it's okay i don't need anything and then fast forward in the dream they ordered the subway, but I was like the one who was picking it up. And then somehow I ended up in a fitting room and I had to go through this fitting room to get to where I was going to get to like this car, which will make sense in a second. But I go through this fitting room and there's this old lady and I didn't recognize her at first. And she was like caught on like the door of the fitting room. And there was someone else in there who like tried to help her and they were struggling to help her like they could not help her. But I was in a hurry and I was like, OK, this isn't my deal. I'm not supposed to be helping this person. I'm just going to keep going. I needed to get to the car so I could get to subway so I could get our food. Right. So I just kind of left that situation and I go through the fitting room and then I get into a car and then I pass this woman on the street who's holding a baby. She's like a younger woman holding a baby. And I just kind of drive by her. And then I get to Subway, I pick up Subway, and then I'm coming back, and I have to go through that fitting room again. Turns out that that old lady that I didn't recognize actually happens to be my grandma. And now, for some of you, you already know this, that my grandma passed away December 11th of 2022, so just two months ago. And we didn't have the best relationship, but I don't have any bad blood for anybody. I don't have any bad blood for the people who hurt me i don't have any bad blood for the people who wronged me who sexually abused me i don't have any wrong i don't have any bad blood for these people i still wish them well right and so in the fitting room i recognized that it's my grandma this time and i was like oh my god i'm supposed to help her and wouldn't you know i go over there and i like help her off the door really quickly it takes me like a second because i was the one who was supposed to help her and then i get her off the door and i leave and i'm like i love you grandma bye thank you and then i just keep going with what I'm doing. I ended up waking up from the dream after that. And then I kind of like cried a little bit to like release that. But I know that that was me being able to say goodbye to her in the astral realm because her soul felt like we didn't have a good ending, if that makes sense. And I'm the first grandchild. So me saying I love you goodbye to my grandma in that dream kind of like helped her pass on, kind of helped her like set her free. And I, I've been feeling very like free and... Um, strong and confident ever since that dream and i shared it with my mom and it, i woke up at 2 25 in the morning so that number could be significant for some of you as well i'm just sharing my story because i know that some of you will be able to resonate with it as well or there will be messages that come through that are for you too so i told my mom about it and she like woke up and my mom didn't even see the text messages she just kind of like woke up and then checked her phone and it was like 4 30 for her so it was a weird time for her to be waking up it was a weird time for me to be waking up but i think that we both just kind of felt that energy like passing by and transcending so i thought that was really interesting um but the stop suffering to make other people happy was part of like the original me not wanting to get anything from subway and this started for me when i was younger too when i was 12 like i would just pay attention to like how much money we were spending and i'd be like okay we don't have to get i don't have to get anything from the store i don't need to get something when you guys are going out and then i would feel left out and then i would be hungry or i would struggle or i would suffer at the expense of everyone else so spirit is asking you to stop suffering to make other people happy to stop suffering at the expense of everyone else some of it is about people pleasing i also have mercury and libra 
Mercury and Libra is a people-pleasing placement. And that's something I had to learn, especially with my online platforms, is that I'm not here to people-please. I'm here to deliver messages, and I'm here to do what God asked me to do. That's just facts. Some of it is about people-pleasing. Some of it is about suffering because you think you're supposed to. So take it how it resonates. Stop suffering to make other people happy, to please other people, or stop suffering because that's what you think you're supposed to do. You were not put on this earth to suffer. 100%. 100%, okay? You were not put on this earth to suffer. So stop suffering because you think that's what you're supposed to be doing. Now I want to talk about money and poverty a little bit. Um, this is just something that I've dealt with for a long time. And I'm currently poor. And I'm fine with it. I'm actually like the happiest I've ever been in my life. And in terms of like the American economy, I am poor. I am in poverty. I get paid from YouTube once a month. I get paid from TikTok once a month. But I don't get paid much from TikTok. I'm just being honest with you. People say not to talk about money, but like... That's outrageous. You can talk about whatever you want to talk about. And also people will tell you not to say that you're poor. I'm going to disagree with that. And I'm going to tell you not to say that you're broke because you're not broke. But there's nothing wrong with being poor or in poverty. And there's nothing wrong with acknowledging that. It's the same thing as saying like, oh, I'm in an awful mood, but I'm just going to push toxic positivity. That's not going to work either. You still have to acknowledge the awful mood. You still have to acknowledge the negativity that you're going through, that you're feeling so that you can push beyond it, right? So I am poor, and I'm okay with that. I'm actually the happiest I have ever been in my entire life, and I'm not letting anybody take that away from me. I do things that are free. I go for walks. I go out in nature. I go to the beach. I do what fulfills me, because you don't need money to make you happy. Money does not equal happiness. Money buys you time. Money gives you freedom, but money does not equal happiness. And I know that I have something that a lot of rich people don't have, and that's faith. And that's my connection to source. And a lot of people want that but they're too busy chasing money and they're too busy chasing the materials. And that's something else that Spirit's asking me to really focus on right now is to not care about the 3D, to not care about the material gains, the material items, because you can't take it with you when you die, okay? So that's just something that I've been kind of dealing with and it always comes up for me around winter because I remember two years ago, I was living in this really teeny tiny apartment in Midtown Tulsa. It was very like, it was a scary area. I lived in a very sketchy area, but it's all that I could afford at the time. And we had this awful ice storm. And I remember not being able to like leave my apartment for a week and I didn't have much food and I didn't have much money. So there wasn't much I could do. It was just like cold and the pipes froze and I didn't have much food in the house, but I survived. Like I still made it. And I always have faith in the universe and I have faith in God. And I don't want any of you to worry <laughs> about me because if I need the money, I will have the money. I trust the universe. Like god's got me like that the universe provides for me the abundant universe provides that's something that i've been telling myself for years and i just trust that if i need it i'll have it so i don't want you to stress or worry about me but i also wanted to bring that up because i saw a comment the other day on one of my readings that said i'm so glad that you don't ask for donations and then it kind of made me feel like i'm not allowed to ask for donations but like i put a lot of time and effort into the work and the content that i create and i'm always working i'm always thinking i'm always pre-filming like I don't know. It was just a lot for me to think about. So maybe some of you are going up through that as well. And I want you to know that it's okay. It's okay. Money doesn't buy happiness. And there's going to be people out there who are rich, who wish they had the gifts that you had, even if you don't have money, because money does not buy happiness. I also want to give you guys some song recommendations because, I don't know, I've been listening to a lot of new music lately. And, um, Maybe some of you like my song recommendations. If you don't, whatever. But I'm going to give you some song recommendations to listen to if you feel called to it. The first one is called This Is by LMI. I just think the LMI has a gorgeous voice. And This Is is kind of uplifting. And there's a line where she talks about how, like, this is what I want to be doing for the rest of my life. And I really resonate with that because creating content and traveling and helping people and just kind of living my life and being paid to exist is what I want to be doing for the rest of my life. So that song really just kind of speaks to me. And then also Sure Thing by Miguel. I just love the beat of that. I love the way that it goes. I just, ah, oh, it's such a beautiful song. So This Is by LMI and Sure Thing by Miguel. Check those out if you feel called to it. And then I also wrote down something about the beauty industry because I learned something about the beauty industry lately, recently. And Spirit was telling me about why I didn't become successful with the beauty industry. For those of you who don't know, I started my um, social media career with makeup, with 
beauty and fashion. I tried to, at least. It was very unsuccessful, and I worked really hard for like two or three years just constantly creating. Every day I would do makeup, and I was working two jobs at the time, and like nothing was popping off. And I learned why, and it's because the beauty industry is very superficial. Not all of it, but there's a big part of the beauty industry that only cares about money, looks, and what you can gain from it. So a lot of people are only really successful in the beauty industry if you are already rich or if you're already popular because brands will reach out to you because they want to use your popularity. It's like social currency and it's just bullshit in my opinion and I don't like it and that's why Spirit said that I didn't become successful with that because it's ego driven and Spirit wants me to be in a high vibration and to use my spirituality. So we did tarot and that's why I've been growing with my tarot because it's authentic and it's real and it's genuine and it's what God wants me to do. Now, of course, I'm still allowed to wear makeup. I'm still allowed to be into fashion and beauty and things like that. But there is a part of it where like you have to be rich or you have to be very well, po very popular or well known to be accepted in that industry. And I'm just not. And that's OK. And that's OK. I don't care. I love me. I love me just the way that I am. No money. Ugly. Like whatever. <laughs> whatever other people think. I love me. You know what I'm saying? Those thoughts are not my own because I love me and I think that I'm beautiful no matter what, with or without makeup. I wear makeup because I love it. I don't wear makeup to prove anything to anybody else. I don't wear makeup to cover up. I don't wear makeup for men, women, whatever. I wear makeup for me because it makes me feel confident. It makes me feel happy and it's fun and it's very therapeutic for me to just like do and release energy, you know? Does that make sense? Anyway, that's all that I have for you guys in terms of like channel message and things that I wanted to talk about. So we are going to pull the cards now. Make sure you have your tea water, snack, whatever you need. Oh, I also want to talk about Pisces season a little bit. So, whoops. <laughs> We're not going to dive into the cards yet. But um, we have Pisces season coming up in Western Astrology on February 18th, I believe. And I wanted to talk to you guys about this because I'm on this um, 75 hard thing that I'm doing. It's day five today. I'm not doing any, no cannabis, and I'm also not drinking. And I'm replacing all of that with like meditation, exercise, going for walks, going to the beach, journaling, reading, things like that. And it's been really nice. Like honestly, it has been really, really nice. It was kind of hard the first couple of days, but that's because of like any withdrawal symptoms. They have to like leave your body, right? But I've been feeling really good. So some of you may want to do that or you may be doing that as well. And we're kind of in this together. But what I needed to tell you is that Pisces season is already very supernatural and um a little bit mind altering naturally that's just pisces energy so do be mindful of any drinking or drugs or substances that you may be intaking or that people may be intaking around you i'm not saying don't do it it's your life you can do whatever you want and it's your body but i am saying to be mindful about it and to not overindulge because it's already going to be a little trippy it's already going to be a little mind altering that's just pisces energy so if you overdo it you may lose control and I know how much Virgos like to be in control because I'm a Virgo sun in Western astrology and I love having control of my life. But I've been really realizing lately that I don't always have control and that it's okay to release control and to just trust the universe. And that's what I've been doing. So maybe, maybe you guys are doing that as well. But just a quick little topic to touch on. And now we will dive into your cards. I want to do one card really quickly in case any of you are struggling right now because Spirit told me to do this. You could be wearing blue or purple today. You could have a Leo rising or a Leo moon, I just heard as well. But some of you are struggling, and I want to get one card for advice for you that may help you if you are struggling at this time. And then we'll pull cards for the rest of the reading. Okay, so angels, ancestors, God, please come through and use me as the vessel. They're already here. I've also been calling upon Archangel Metatron lately, so I can feel the angels around me. Archangel Metatron is here as well, and Archangel Metatron is looking out for you too. Maybe some of you work with Archangel Metatron. I'm also hearing Gabriel. Some of you may be pulling cards for yourself, or you need to go get your deck and pull cards for yourself, is what I just heard. Okay. Spirit, angels, ancestors, what is the one card to help those out there who are struggling at this time? What would you like to tell them? What's their advice? What's their guidance? Okay, Three of Cups. Three of Cups talks about celebrating. Three of Cups talks about having fun. Three of Cups talks about reuniting with Soul Tribe. So some of you, the answer to your problem is to socialize. 
is to call upon your friends, to call upon your angels, to call upon the Pleiadians, whatever it is that you feel called to, because you're never alone is essentially what Spirit is saying to me with the Three of Cups. They're always looking out for you, period. The Three of Cups talks about socializing, so some of you may just need to go out there more to put yourself out there more. If this has to do with like dating and love and romance, it's because you're sitting around waiting for it to come to you. Some of you. And I'm not trying to call you out, I'm just trying to help, right? But Spirit is saying to put yourself out there, to take yourself out to a nice date, a nice coffee date. It doesn't cost that much money to buy yourself lunch. It really doesn't. I know that we were just talking about like being poor and poverty and things like that, but I still take myself out for lunch every once in a while. Sometimes I'll spend like $15, $16 on myself for a lunch, and that's fine. It's really not that much in the grand scheme of things, especially when you trust that the universe is always providing for you. You trust that the money that you spend will come back to you multiplied, and it does. It always does, in my experience, because I trust that. So Spirit is saying, take yourself out. Treat yourself the way you want to be treated. Stop waiting for somebody else to validate you. Stop waiting for somebody else to come in and show you the world. Show yourself the world is kind of what I'm getting. I'm also getting something about drinking a lot of water or getting by the water. That will help you as well. And you can also use subliminals while you sleep or while you nap. That'll help you as well, whatever subliminal you feel called to. But I am seeing something about like running water. or So maybe you want to listen to a subliminal about like with a waterfall or with like running water or something like that. And this water will help to like clear your mind is what I'm getting. Okay, so for those of you who are struggling right now, that is the advice, that is the answer, that is the message that I am receiving at this time. Let me know if it resonates for you, okay? All right, let's move on to the rest of the collective of Virgos. I'm seeing the number 44 already. So you could be seeing fours, 44, 444, 4, 4, or you could be born on the fourth or path number four, I just heard as well. What are the messages here for Virgo? three of cups again i shuffled you saw it so i feel like maybe we are all kind of collectively going through that whether you resonate with struggling at this time or not i do feel like that first message was pretty important for all of us it's just kind of like play have fun tap into your inner child oh my god that's another message i have recently been like asking my inner child throughout the day how he's doing how my inner child is doing so check in with your inner child right now see how your inner child is doing see if there's anything that your inner child like needs from you or wants from you i want to show you this picture because this is so iconic this is so funny so the other day I was having a conversation with one of my really good friends named Monique and she's the one who actually brought this up to me about like um, the inner child and like checking in with the inner child and then I've been doing it and I can like hear my inner child and we talk and my inner child's like, ah, I'm a little hungry or my inner child's like, mm, I'm a little bored. We could have a dance party. We could go do something. We could have fun. And every night I check in with my inner child now and my inner child is like content and ready to go to bed and I love it. So some of you, you need to tap in with your inner child. But I actually pulled out this picture because I kept this picture with me and I'm going to show it to you. This is, I've been very vulnerable today. <laughs> very vulnerable. Um, props to me. I don't know what came over me or what's going on, but here is the picture of me when I was younger. Isn't he adorable? Isn't he the cutest? And that's my thing is like, as soon as I pulled this picture out, I was like, I would do anything to give this little child the world. I would do everything in my power to make this kid's dreams a reality and ever since i've like had that mindset it's been such a huge shift for me and now i leave this picture out and i see it every time that i wake up and walk out the door and i'm always checking in with my inner child so that feels like a message for you guys too right now is to check in with your inner child see how your inner child is doing but also know that you are not alone call upon your friends if you need them call upon your angels if you need them they're always around you is what i'm getting okay we're seeing the nine of pentacles I feel like you're coming back to self. There's this energy of like releasing the ego. I've been pulling the strength card a lot lately and I didn't really realize what it was about, but now Spirit's been telling me that we're like shattering ego and we're kind of like breaking through anything that is very egoic and we're removing ourselves from anything that feels egocentric or that feels like it's ego driven. And I feel like now you guys are attracting real people into your life. You're attracting genuine, authentic people into your life. I feel like some of you are going to be meeting a lot of Virgos around this time, or you're going to be meeting a new Virgo in your life. Because Virgos, we have a way of finding each other, and we have to stick together. 
but the three of cups talks about like reuniting with soul tribe and then the nine of pentacles is a virgo energy so some of you may be reconnecting with a virgo or you may just be reconnecting with self i'm also getting that some of you have been doing affirmations and they're working whatever affirmations you've been using maybe it's for money manifesting maybe it's for self-help maybe it's for anything right but whatever you know, affirmations you've been using are working because you're reprogramming your subconscious that's what i'm getting okay some of you could be 39 or some of you were born in 93 I'm also seeing that for some of you, there's this big focus on health right now. You're being guided to keep focused on your health, to stay focused on your health. This is also a message that I was getting recently. Do not let anything distract you from your morning routine or your nighttime routine. Ah, this little king of pentacles is popping through. We'll talk about that in a second. But um, do not let anything break you from your morning routine or your daily routines right now. You need to stay strict and focused on your routines for example if you wake up in the morning you meditate you have your breakfast shower go for a walk exercise of some sort D do that keep up with that regardless of whatever's going on around you at this time okay because i do feel like there's trying there's some people trying to distract you or the universe is just kind of like testing you and there's some triggers right but if you stay consistent with your routine and you don't vet what's the word if you don't swap, what is the word? If you don't sway away, is that the word? Whatever, you get what I'm trying to say, Virgo. You're smart. <laughs> if you don't sway away from the routine that you're doing, it'll all be fine. It'll all pass you by. It'll all just be like a temporary energy. But if you um, don't stick to these routines and you allow the distractions to pile up and you allow the emotions to pile up and you allow the triggering to really affect you, then it's gonna be tough. It's going to feel longer than it actually needs to, if that's what that's what I'm getting, if that makes sense. Okay, but King of Pentacles, I do see some kind of like financial growth and financial prosperity coming in for you guys in the next six months, from whenever you're listening to this reading, in the next six, six months. For some of you, the next three months. Depends on when you need it and when God says it's time. But I'm also getting that for some of you, the only reason that you're not... Um, where you want to be financially is because of some of the people around you. And God is saying, if we gave you this money now, then you would become their ATM. Because some of you are so generous, but also just because of how people on earth are very focused on the 3D and be can become very greedy. Even the church. I just heard that. I just needed to say that. Even the church is greedy. Some of them. Not all, but some of them. Even the church can be greedy. And so Spirit is saying that you will have the money when you need it. But I'm seeing that you guys are growing in terms of finances and becoming more financially free and more trusting in money is what i'm getting so if you've been doing money work money affirmations it's working and it's on the way to you okay definitely over the next six months i do expect some kind of like raise promotion um payment for your services yeah i'm hearing financially lucrative there may be an opportunity coming in here for your career in the next three to six months or right now as well since i'm reading it but there may be some kind of financial opportunity for you to be promoted um, or to get a raise or some kind of lucrative role coming up here somebody may be purchasing your services somebody may be donating a lot of money to you somebody may be like helping you with your book or something like that it'll be different for all of you but i do see that there is some kind of like hidden helper and i'm also getting that for some of you your person is rich I'm taking that one to the bank. I am claiming that one for myself. Claim that for yourself if you want it. Okay, again, it has nothing to do with the money, but this King of Pentacles is somebody who is very well off, financially stable, successful, and they want to share the wealth with you, with the children, with their community, etc., with the family. And this is somebody who wants to take care of you, Virgo, because maybe you grew up like I did. And this person wants to help you go from rags to riches and they want to like spoil you and treat you to nice things and buy you all of the things that you couldn't afford for yourself. So for some of you, your person is rich. Whether you're with them right now or not, you will be with somebody who is very financially stable. And I feel like you will become financially stable with them. It's not like you're quitting your job and just mooching off of them. You will continue to make money and you will continue to grow, but this person helps you and it leads you to your financial success. I just keep seeing you going up a ladder go you're climbing the ladder to success amen okay so claim that my divine counterpart my person is rich my person is wealthy 
Amen. Okay? Is there anything else you want to talk to Virgo about today? We're 30 minutes in. So we'll probably wrap it up with maybe one more card, please, for my Virgos. There we go. Page of Rods. Heck yeah. If you don't know what the Page of Rods is, it's confirmation. So this reading is confirmation for some of you that the work you have been doing is working. For some of you, this is confirmation of something else that you needed as well. Um, maybe some of you have been channeling the Pleiadians, or you've been channeling your guides, and you didn't really know what was going on here, but you're not crazy. We did that reading a while ago. I'll try to put it in the cards or the description box, but you're not crazy. This reading is confirmation for some of you, or you will receive confirmation after this reading that this reading was for you from your guides. I've been feeling a little bit of like supernatural, weird things going on lately. Um, last night out of nowhere as I was trying to go to sleep and like do my little meditation right before bed all of a sudden the fire alarm went off and it was just like fire beep beep and then quit immediately it only went off once so there was no real fire I don't really know what was happening I'm guessing it was somebody in my apartment who set it off but yeah there may be some kind of like supernatural things going on around you and it's your guides letting you know that they're around that they're here to help you that they're protecting you and that if you need anything all you have to do is ask I'm hearing, if you need me, call me, no matter where you are, no matter how far, if you need me, call me. I don't know that song. If you know that song, let me know in the comments because I know some of you will know. Okay, so this reading is confirmation. You will receive confirmation of this reading. You're on the right path here, Virgo. Okay, some of you need to give yourself a break. <laughs> um, maybe that's like actually physically give yourself a break. Um, but if you feel tired, let yourself sleep. If you feel tired, let yourself rest. That's what the guides have been telling me lately because I've been kind of getting tired and I've been pushing myself past it, pushing myself through it because I like to do that and I like to push myself. But sometimes it is okay to take a break. Sometimes it is okay to rest. Sometimes it is okay to just take a nap and sleep and put everything off, right? That's what I'm getting. So some of you stop being so hard on yourself. Stop pushing yourself to unrealistic expectations. You know what I'm saying? If that resonates, that resonates. I'm not here to like be your parent and like lecture you, but if that resonates, that resonates. I'm gonna pull you one more card. I brought out all of my blue decks today. So some of you, like I said, could be wearing blue or you're working on your throat chakra right now and being guided to like speak up for yourself and to talk your way through things and just speak and tell your story and share your truth, share your testimony as well. That could be resonating for some of you. Um, but I wanna pull one card. We're going to use the Angels and Ancestors deck. Bottom of the deck says High Priest. It says Intend and Create. And some of you are High Priestesses. You are High Priests. You're here to help um, with new religious movements like we talked in the beginning. You have psychic gifts. You have psychic abilities. I personally believe that we all do. But Virgo, you're very tapped into it right now. And I also feel like your psychic gifts are improving. Especially during this Pisces season that's coming up. February 18th through probably like March 20th or something, but I could be wrong, but you're definitely going to experience some kind of like um, spiritual download, spiritual ascension, and your gifts improving for sure, okay? Make sure you drink lots of water, okay? Stay hydrated because there may be some tension headaches or there may be some like pain in the third eye, but it's just because your gifts are expanding and your third eye is opening even more than it was in the past. Okay, so there we go. Last card, please, for my Virgos. I saw 333. Three, three. That could be a number for you as well. All right, and we pulled, wouldn't you know it, three cards. So the High Priest is coming out again. Spirit does want to confirm that for you, that you are very much protected and you are very wise. You have a lot of wisdom and a lot of knowledge and a lot of spiritual gifts that you are here to help share with the world is what i'm getting you're here to help raise the vibration of the earth which we've talked about before and then wow the high priestess came out with the high priest how much more do you need how much more do you need right but i'm also getting that your person is very spiritual too your partner your divine counterpart is going to be very spiritual just like you they probably do something very similarly to you or they help guide a collective they help heal other people so on and so forth whether they have like a platform or whether they're like a reader or not they just have a very healing energy just like you do and they're also very connected to the divine is what i'm seeing this high priestess card says harness mystic power and then your last card says shaolin master 
which is be graceful in movement and action. And I'm getting that there's always something to be grateful for. So focus on the things that you can be grateful for and it will help you to attract more into your life. I see so many times that people focus on like the negative, on the self, on the negative self-talk and just like things that are out of their control and then they wonder why their life doesn't get better but they're not focusing on anything that they already do have. They're like, yeah, that's great, but I want more. And I think that that's kind of like the world that we live in nowadays, especially with the internet and instant gratification. But I am seeing that you guys are mastering something or you have mastered something and there's this energy of like leveling up, coming back to center, coming back to yourself. Okay. And your spirit team is letting you know that we're very proud of you. Look how far you've come. You have a lot of strength. You have a lot of wisdom and you have a lot of power. You're showing up as the dragon right now, which is one of like the highest vibrations that you can reach. So some of you may be feeling a little bit lonely or isolated, and that's because your vibration is raising. Your vibration is too high for some of these people. So continue to raise your vibration because you will begin to attract and only attract the right opportunities for you, the right people for you. And the thing is, in order to resonate with your energy, in order to be around you, they will have to maintain a high vibration as well. So you don't even have to worry about like the toxic, the low vibrational, the trolls. You don't even have to worry about them because you're above it now. Wow. That is so beautiful. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. You could have a dragon tattoo as well, I just heard. And there was something I needed to talk to you about friends. I realized why spirit kept a lot of people away from me, and I realized why spirit kind of kept me alone for a while, and it's because some of these people were not actually my friends, and some of these people were never going to be my friend. I needed to become my own best friend first so I could realize what real friendship is, and so that I could learn how to pull myself out of situations that are no longer for me and that no longer serve me. I really learned that lesson surrounding friendship this year and last year. 2022 into 2023 and i feel like we're going to keep learning that lesson about relationships friendships etc and why we can't be in them and why we can't be around some of them and once we learn that lesson we'll then attract the people and unlock the people who are meant to be in our lives who fit into our and who fit into our story because they're a part of our soul tribe. So that's what I see is all going down right now. I hope that this reading helped you, made sense to you. I'm sending you so much love always. Take care of your beautiful self. Stay hydrated and I will catch you in the next one.